My name is Jesse Geller, and I am born in Philadelphia, but I live in San Francisco. I'm down with Iraq. I'm Kunle Martins, and um, I live in New York, and I'm down with Iraq. Yeah. Iraq's your food, dude. Yeah, and I'm here in Miami. With me, Jesse. Yeah, I'll be glad when you're dead, you rescue me. I'll be glad when you're dead, you rescue me. Painting a building for my good friend Tony Goldman. Graffiti writers are at a point where they've learned to become alluring to more sophisticated people. The tag is the buttery essence of graffiti because... Because if you don't know how to tag, you're worthless. I mean, I'm sorry for the people that don't know how to tag. Kindergarten, the elementary like, school, they yeah. teach you how to write your name first. That's the first thing that they do. It's the fundamental of life, learning how to write your name and not having a chicken scratch signature. For me, murals and shit are dumb and pieces are stupid, but tags are great. It's like jerking off on cocaine. I, I know you graffiti writers know about that. Cocaine and jerking off. You want to make it look pretty and in a way for the public to digest it. The last thing that they want to have to learn is like, you know, graffiti language. Making the whole building covered in a repeating color pattern. And that way they notice the same tag over and over again. And they notice like, you know, the pattern of letters. It literally is a tagging mosaic. Graffiti, it just happens. I don't have to think about it. Maybe if I'm like, okay, hey, let's go out to dinner. I won't write graffiti while I'm at dinner, you know, but like I will be walking to dinner and I'll catch tags. It's like there's no in between with me. People aren't like, oh, he's kind of cool. They're like, he's dope. I'm down with him. Or he's a fucking piece of shit. Hey, dude. Come in. Like, get this little piece of fuck out of here. Putting on out. From sunblock, it makes me look younger. I steal every day of my life. Yeah. And I gotta stop. I'm like, this is cool, I'll have this now. Yeah, it was like this, and I was all, this is my girlfriend. And then I just like walked out of the store with it, like this. I steal shoes every single day. I have like this abundance of stupid sneakers. Recently I've been taking silver pens like, as a security blanket. <laughs> I have a problem with making the same mistake over and over and over again. And it's a total genetic thing because my pop does it and I hate it. But that's kind of like my, I do graffiti over and over and over and over and over and over again. Graffiti writers don't all want to tag all the time. Everyone does something else. No one is just a graffiti writer, um, unless you are and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but, <laughs> Wendy's moment. I wrote graffiti for graffiti's sake. I hung out with people that I respected and then some of those people didn't respect me back. I started to you know, do more with the graffiti or just have more purpose with what I was doing. Pocket shirt, that's pretty smart. I gravitated toward people interested in learning more about history and life. Dude, it's like my ski right now. Yeah, those are really nice. I named this place a uh, club gift shop for a reason. It has nothing to do with wanting to be an artist or anything. It's just, you know, how you see yourself and like what you're doing. Damn, yo, why is it doing that? If you respect it, others will respect it also. I'm happy that people are celebrating shit. You know, it's always interesting when people celebrate. And there's like uh, people from all over the world and they're all different. It's been a long evolution. And this is the point that it's come to. I am writing graffiti but it's being received as art. It's not necessarily a celebration of graffiti. It's art, you know, being used as a tool to better the community. For us, this, like, this is dope. This is the best that this neighborhood is offering right now, you know, for us. I understand that people feel differently, you know? They can do what they do. This is what I do. Deal with it. Sorry, man, I'm heavy right now. Wendy's moment. <laughs> <laughs>